briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The legal landscape shifted significantly in 2000 with the Association of Battery Recyclers Inc. v. U.S. Environmental Protection Agency case. The crux of this particular legal dispute centered around the Department of Environmental Conservation's EPA interpretation of what constituted solid waste and its reach to regulate this under the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, RCRA. In this legal contest, the Association of Battery Recyclers brought forward the claim that the EPA overstepped the statutory boundaries set within the RCRA with the final rule on the disposal of soils. Other critical parties included the Chemical Manufacturers Association, the National Mining Association, and the American Iron and Steel Institute, all representing significant pillars of the national chemical, mining, and steel industries. Of prime concern to several of these industries was an issue over in-process secondary materials and their classification. The legal battle rumbled on, but the court's final ruling declared the EPA's definition of discarded, essential to understanding what could be classified as solid waste, was incorrect. On another contentious point, the court vacated the Phase 4 rule, a key EPA provision used to determine the toxicity of manufactured gas plant, MGP, waste. The EPA's argument that this waste could end up in municipal landfills was undermined by insufficient evidence, making the argument less compelling when compared to the evidence presented for other mineral processing wastes. In light of these determinations, as the gavel fell, the court underscored that the EPA must demonstrate a rational relationship between the way in which the hypothetical management scenarios connect to the way these wastes are discarded. Despite the legal setback, the EPA was allowed to maintain its treatment standards for hazardous waste. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.